exponential notation. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to describe the exponent and the base in a number expressed in exponential notation and give the value of numbers expressed in exponential notation. Let us begin. There are five kids who went to the bakery store to buy some bread. A piece of bread costs five pesos. If each one of them bought five bread, how much did they pay in all? Now let's try to solve this one. Do you have any idea? That is right. We need to multiply five pesos, which is the cost of the bread, to the number of bread each one of them bought, which is 5 bread, to the number of kids, which is 5 kids. This gives us our number sentence 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. Very good! This means that they paid 125 pesos in all. Wonderful! As you look at this equation, we can see that number 5 is multiplied repeatedly to itself three times. This equation can be also written in a different form, wherein 5 is multiplied repeatedly to itself three times, is equal 125. This is an example of exponential form or exponential notation. Exponential form or exponential notation is another way of expressing numbers. It has two parts. The number that is being multiplied repeatedly is called the base. While the number that tells us how many times the base is being multiplied is the exponent. Now let's take a look at these examples. We have here the numbers 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. This is an example of the factored or expanded form. We can see from here that the number 4 is being multiplied repeatedly, and that is the base. And the base is being multiplied 5 times, and that is the exponent. When we write this in the exponential notation or exponential form, we have 4 to the 5th power. Now when we solve this one, 4 times 4, times 4, times 4, times 4, that gives us 1024. And this is the standard form. Now let's have another one. We have here 8 times 8 times 8. We can see that 8 is being multiplied repeatedly. So that is our base. And the base is being multiplied 3 times. So that is our exponent. When written in exponential notation, that is 8 to the 3rd power or 8 cubed. When solved, this gives us the standard form, which is 8 times 8 times 8 equals 512. Let's have another one. We have here 12 times 12. The base here is 12. And the base is being multiplied 2 times. So that is our exponent. Now let us write down its exponential notation. There you go. 
And we can read this as 12 to the second power or 12 squared, which gives us the value 12 times 12 equals 144. Wonderful! Now let me give you some previous. Did you know that all numbers have its invisible exponent? Yes, all numbers have invisible exponent of 1. When a number has an exponent of 1, it is always equals to the number itself. So 5 raised to 1 is 5. 24 to the first power is 24 and 9 to the first power is 9 there you go now let's have another one when a number has the exponent of 0 it is always equals to 1 3 has an exponent of 0 is equals 1 and 34 has exponent of 0 is equal 1 again when a number has an exponent of 0 its value is 1 now let us try this one I want you to look and observe 10 has the exponent of 2 or 10 to the second power when written in expanded form is 10 times 10 and when solved that gives us the value 100 10 to the third power is 10 times 10 times 10 which is equal 1000 while 10 to the fourth power has the value of 10,000 and lastly 10 to the fifth power has the value of 100,000 now as you can see the exponent is the same as the number of zeros in its standard form These are the examples of power of 10. Remember, this is only for evaluating power of 10. Wonderful! Now let's try to solve problems involving exponential notation. Here, a certain book has 2 to the 4th power pages. Now how many pages does this book have? Now let us try to solve this one. 2 to the 4th power is written in expanded form as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And when we solve for this one, that gives us 16. Therefore, this book has 16 pages. Wonderful! How about this one? What is 7 to the 5th power? First, let's write it down in its exponential notation. We all know that the base here is the 7. And exponent is the 5th power, which is 5. Now let's try to solve this one. 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 is... You are correct. It is 16,807. Wonderful. How about this one? What is the sum of 3 to the 4th power and 2 cubed? Now let us give the value first of each exponential notation. Three to the fourth power gives us three times three times three times three. While two cubed gives us two times two times two. 
and let us try to solve this one. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81, while 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. This means that 3 to the 4th power is 81 and 2 cubed is 8. Now let us add. 81 plus 8 is 89. Great job! Wonderful job, students! Now here are the things that you learned today.